and welcome back to People Who Have Issues and How They Deal With Them. I'm your host, Anita Asprin. Today we'll be interviewing several people who have fascinating issues and finding out how they deal with them. Let's hear it for Ian Marvin Sick. Studio audience? Apparently our audience is you as well. Mr. Sick, welcome to our show. Hello. So, what is your issue? Well, they say I'm a hypochondriac right now. I'm just being careful about, um, like, what kind of place I, I go into. Oh, like, uh, I have, like, um, uh, 50 prescriptions to do today. Um, and, like, I only have a couple minutes here, so uh, ask your questions or whatever, because, like, I got to Okay, so how has people thinking you're a hypochondriac affected your life? Well, it's been very, like, disrupting, because, like, when I'm going to get my Advil, they're like, you... Dude, you just had one two minutes ago. I'm like, no, it was two hours ago. And it just, it's terrible. I see, and so what are some of these medications for? This is for my nose. This is for my broken leg. This is for, um... <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, do you have a medication for these bits? Anyways, this is, um... I'm not sure what that's cool, but I take it anyways, just fancy stuff. So. Oh, okay. And, uh... Wait, wait, wait a second. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! That's one of our other contestants. You think she's a dog. She's crazy. You take crack supplies as well? <laughs> yeah, um, when I was young, I swallowed a hammer once, and it's just to make sure that's completely out of my system. <laughs> so you have a cold? Yes, I do. I have a cold all the time. It's terrible. Okay. Uh, so, what else would you want to know? Um, is there any statements you'd like to make to those people who think you're hypochondriac? You can never be too careful, people! <laughs> and we're going into the laughing room again. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes, you can never be too careful. And um, you really should take lots of medication to make sure you don't get sick. And it's like, one, two, three, just a second. Time to... Oh, yes! I'm late! I'll see you guys! Um, security! We lost one! No, I've seen it with my own three eyes! You don't believe me! Come on! Give me a chance! Come on! Ah! Oh! Oh, prove it to you no! all! <laughs> oh, it died! What, 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 what time is it? I'm sure you'll be all right. Ah! 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 Mr. Sick, I, I, I don't think you need all this medication. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, the show is called People Who Have Issues and How They Deal With this Them. You're not dealing with it very well, Mr. Sick. Mr. Sick, please continue. Oh, I need it. I'll die without it. <laughs> ah. Well, our first... There's another one who thinks he's a dog. <laughs> Crazy people, I tell you. I hate him, but, but it's time for, for, just, I think I'll just pick one at random. <laughs> <laughs> well, our first contestant obviously is not dealing with this issue very well, but we would like to thank you for being on our show, Mr. Sick, and I'll have the security guard. I've got another doctor! I'll have the security guard. <laughs> dry mouth, headaches, and sometimes even death. This product is not recommended for people with psychiatric needs. So please, help me <laughs> <doctor. laughs> Hey! You <laughs> can't do that! Come back here! I've been looking all over for this! Oh, come 